Hey guys, it's Luna here. Welcome back to another No Man's Sky video. Today we're going to be talking about trade commodities and how you can get money from trading on outposts on planets and more importantly and probably easier would be on the space stations. So what we're going to do is, or what you're going to do, is you're going to travel around to loads of different space stations. You'll have to go in between galaxies until you find one like I found here. If we take a look on the inside here, go to the trade terminal here, the galactic trade terminal. And what you're going to look for is if you go to sell, you're going to see this here. OK, and it's the things, the items with the stars next to them. And basically what that means is you're going to get a huge, huge increase in your sales. You can see there I get an extra 107 percent for selling this dynamic resonator. So what you want to do is go around and find a galactic trade terminal that has dynamic resonators with a little star next to them. Now, you can do this with any item in the game that has the star next to it, but I found that the dynamic resonators are actually the best because not only do you get a huge amount of money for them, but the way that we do this is we have to buy them from other traders and sell them back here, and they usually have quite a few in stock, so that's really handy. We can do it with anything, like if we did it with, well, you can't actually do it with suspension fluid because to buy it, it costs around like 21,000 and you only get a thousand or double, as you can see here because of the star. It's probably because you need that to fuel your um, FTL. So you can't really do it with suspension fluid, but things like plutonium, for example, you could get double, but you'd only get 80 per plutonium. And yes, if you're out exploring like on a planet in this system, you could easily go gather loads of plutonium because you know you'll get double price for it. So you'll still get a pretty decent income. But this method here of doing it with dynamic resonators is going to be the best. So to do this, go and find a galaxy that has a space station with two things, okay? One, the dynamic resonators, which are on kind of a bargain here of we'll get twice as much if we sell them. And the second thing you want to do, if we go back out and look into the little uh, landing platforms here, you want to make sure you get one that has a short little runway here because I've noticed the ones with the long runways seem to have half as much traders stopping in. So you want to get one that's short because the traders will come really quickly and that's much more easy and quicker for doing this. So what we're going to do is basically we're going to buy those resonators from the traders that land here. You can see loads of them coming in and we're going to sell them inside there back at the Galactic Trade Terminal for a profit. So if we just talk to one of these traders here, also I like doing it this way because I get to see how much everyone's ships cost, it's quite fun. The most I've seen so far, someone had a ship that was 13 million. I know you can get up to 40 million so far, I think the highest I've seen. So if we go to buy item from this life form, and you can see here the dynamic resonators, he has two available. They take up an inventory slot each, so you can't really buy that many anyway. So you can see the cost here is 34,000 and at the galactic trade terminal, which was inside, we were selling them for 57,000. So we get a profit of 23,000 per dynamic resonator. So I'm just going to buy those two there. You can see I've got over a million units right now, but what you can do is you can buy one, sell it for profit. And once you've got enough, you can buy two, sell those, and you'll keep getting more and more until you get to the point where you can fill up your inventory with them like I can do. So I got two from that person, okay? So we'll keep track of how much that cost. That was like 70,000. We'll go to the ship here and we'll see how much he sells his ones for. Sometimes you get people who will have theirs on deal as well. Like you'll get a thousand, they'll double 100% extra and you could just sell them there instead of going all the way inside. So he has two available. So we have four now. So that's 140,000, okay? And we will go, is there any more ships? See, this is why you want to go to one of these smaller stations because you will get ships coming in much quicker than if they're the ones with the long runways. I don't know why you'd think it'd be the other way around because it's like a bigger station, but we're just going to wait around and wait for these ships. Alright guys, so I've managed to buy all I can from the uh, traders outside. It just took 5 minutes and I managed to get 13 because that's how much inventory slots I have. So they cost 34,000 each. 13 times 34,000 is like 442,000 or something like that. And if we take a look at the Galactic Trade Terminal, 
you can see here if we sell them now, so sell items, because we're getting twice as much or roughly that, we get 741,000 for them, which is just under 300,000 profit in five minutes. And if we times that by the amount of time in an hour, is over three and a half million profit in just over an hour. So this is definitely the best way to do this and get money in the game currently, guys. And I'm definitely gonna be doing this because I want one of those really cool 14 million unit ships. And maybe I'll save up for the bigger one. I'm not sure if there's gonna be any other quicker ways of getting money as you progress in the game because I'm only like halfway through. But for now, for me, this is definitely the best and quickest way of getting money. I mean, once you get past the initial setup of trying to find the right space station with the right commodities available, then, you know, you can pretty much farm this for as long as you want and you can get unlimited money. And you can use that money to upgrade your inventory so you can do it quicker and quicker. For me, I have 21 slots available and 13 that I can actually have things in my inventory. And I'm going to increase that and I'll be able to get more money quicker in the future as well. And I think it's a little less uh, boring than doing the way that we had with the bypass chips in the last video. But anyway guys, if you found this video useful and you enjoy it, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you all next time for more No Man's Sky.